Hey friends, this is Jen from Gunner Jen's Journey. We're going to be doing another video from In My Kitchen, uh, going along with a video that I just put out about my health journey. Today we're going to be working on a couple of pre-made in the jar meals. So we're going to be working on overnight oatmeal and a fruit and yogurt parfait. So let me take you on over to the kitchen and we'll get putting together those pre-made meals. Okay, so this is one of the things we're going to be using for making pre-made meals, but not what we're doing in this video today. These are garbanzo beans that I've been uh, soaking overnight and uh, the water looks pretty crummy, but that's okay because we're going to rinse these out and put them in our prep containers and this will be ready to make falafels tomorrow. So I'm going to be making falafels for the first time, which is a chickpea um, little miniature, not quite a burger, but uh, it's a little fried chickpea uh, item. And uh, so I'm going to be doing those tomorrow and I will bring you along. But I just want to show you that we are doing the prep work, getting these bad boys ready for the falafel tomorrow. So for the prep work that we're doing today, we are using just plain mason jars. Um, they're a very easy thing to use to have a uh, individual pre-made meal. So these are just standard pint size mason jars. I use the wide mouth. That's what I tend to use for canning. And um, I also use it for pre-made individual meals like leftover oats and fruit and yogurt parfaits. The wide mouths are easier to clean and easier to actually eat out of. So again, these are just wide mouth, regular canning jars. And this is what we're going to be using to make our uh, pre-made meals. Okay, for our pre-made fruit and yogurt parfaits, very simple ingredients. And of course, there is no uh, set in stone way that you can make this. You can use any fruit that you would like, any kind of toppings, um, you know, that go with your, your fruit. So this is just what I am using today. Um, this is what I have uh, in house, so to speak. So it's uh, very simple. Uh, we have our fruit. I'm going to be using raspberries. I'm going to take also couple of bananas and we have uh, this is hemp seeds or hemp hearts uh, whichever you can get uh, you find them usually in your specialty items these are very high in um, omega-3s very good for the brain and then of course we have our yogurt this is Greek style yogurt and I try to do vegan options if I can but we are on a very tight budget, so um, when it comes to uh, yogurt or things, uh, vegan yogurt is very, very expensive. Um, but sometimes I can get the non-dairy for quite a deal. I mean, for the, I can get the dairy, <laughs> the dairy yogurt, I can get pretty cheap. So um, this is one of the things that I will compromise on uh, for a dairy item is the uh, yogurts. Um, just because that's what my budget allows. So again, this is Greek yogurt. This one is actually vanilla, so it's pre-flavored already. If you want, you can just do plain yogurt, um, you know, whatever you feel like. <clears throat> so uh, what we're gonna do is get a, our bananas going here. I don't pre-cut bananas unless they're gonna go in a, a fruit salad because uh, that just doesn't work for bananas. So I cut them up right when I get ready to use them. <clears throat> so I cut them pretty small just so they're, they're more bite size and uh, they work very well this size in uh, the parfait. <clears throat> My chickens will be happy because they get the waste from when I prepare my foods. And so it doesn't actually go to waste. It gets composted 
by my live composters. All right, so we got the bananas cut up. We're gonna start out with just the one. And what we're gonna do, move this back a little bit. Quite simple, we're gonna take our yogurt, cover, cover the bottom of this jar. About like so. Then we're gonna layer it like you would lasagna. I'm gonna put in some raspberries. I'm gonna take some bananas, put that in there. And then we're going to do it again. Take some yogurt. And I said just like lasagna. It's a fruit lasagna. Okay. Then we're going to do one more layer of yogurt. And you might be saying, well, Jen, that's a lot of fruit and yogurt. Well, it is if you think you're only uh, going to eat that as a snack. But this is a meal. So this needs to be able to keep you full until it's time to eat again. There's that. Gonna have just a couple more berries. So there's that. Looks pretty good already. And we're gonna take just a pinch of the hemp seeds. Put it on top. I'm gonna do two pinches here. All right. So there is our fruit and yogurt parfait. Now what we're going to do is put a lid on this and set it in the refrigerator and then when it's time to eat your breakfast or if you're going to uh, have this as your evening meal because you want a light meal in the evening, it's ready to go. So easy peasy. The next pre-made pre meal I'm going to show you is going to be oatmeal in a cup, otherwise known as overnight oats. Okay, so we just put together three jars of our uh, fruit and yogurt parfait using uh, Greek yogurt and fresh fruit and some hemp seeds. Uh, to give you an idea of what this cost, um, uh, the container of yogurt that you saw was a one pound container, I think is what it was, uh, the large container. That ran about $4. Um, and we used pretty much the whole container on these and I did one other jar last night so that big container did four of these guys um, I used two packages of raspberries for the three of these uh, the raspberries were on sale for about a uh, buck 66 each they were on sale for three for five so I used two packages of the raspberries for these three I ended up using a banana each so, uh, bananas, uh, depending on where you are, they run 42.52 cents a pound. Uh, I averaged it that uh, the bananas cost me 25 cents each jar. And then the hemp seeds, depending on where you get them, if you get them on sale, um, I order mine through Thrive a lot, uh, thrive.com. I can get them pretty cheap there. They run me about $9 for a one pound bag and you only use a little bit. A little bit goes a long ways. So I just went on the high side and said uh, 50 cents a jar. It's probably more like a quarter for a jar cost wise. So for this batch of fruit and yogurt parfaits, it ran about uh, $8.60 for the whole batch. And so that's a little more than $2.85 a jar. Now again, if this was for a snack, um, you know, you might say, well, that's a little high priced. But actually it's not. This is a meal. And I know at my local store, um, I can get a fruit and yogurt parfait. Uh, the jar is, the container is smaller than this. And I'm easily going to be paying $2.50. 
uh, for their container which has all sorts of stuff in it. So this is homemade with stuff that I like in it. Um, their stuff does not have hemp seeds in it. Mine does. So um, yeah, it's well worth it to make your own, especially if you can buy things that are in season or when they are on sale. Like I said, the raspberries were on sale. Berries can be pretty pricey. Another thing that you can do is uh, if fresh fruit is not an option, use frozen fruit. I'd still go with the fresh bananas. They're usually not that uh, costly to buy fresh, but you can buy fresh berry, I mean frozen berries, uh, strawberries, apples. Uh, you can buy all sorts of frozen items and layer it the same exact way. Just take your yogurt, put it in, take your bananas and your frozen fruit, put it in and layer it that way and uh, that can be cost effective as well. So I just wanted to share with you the cost breakdown of getting these made. Now we're going to move on to our overnight oats. So overnight oats is not a new concept, but not one that receives a lot of attention um, or that it's widespread as something that's delicious. A lot of people are used to the instant hot oatmeals or even oatmeals that you just cook on the stove. They're used to a hot oatmeal. Overnight oats is a cold oatmeal and some people that's a major turn off. Um, I started doing it and it's actually not that bad. Uh, once you get used to it, um, I actually prefer it sometimes over a hot uh, oatmeal, especially when it's hot outside. But uh, having overnight oats is a very good time saver. Um, if you don't have time to cook in the morning, um, something comes up or whatever, you can just grab that jar and eat it on the run, so to speak, and you have a full, nutritious breakfast on the go, ready for you to eat. And it's not hot or it's going to burn you. So I'm going to show you how I make my version of overnight oats. Again, this is not set in stone. Take the idea that I'm sharing and make your own. Um, so again, I'm doing three jars just because I had I happen to have six empty jars. So I'm going to do three jars of the overnight oats. And very simple, we're going to take a half a cup of oats. And these are just regular old-fashioned oats. If you want, you can use the quick oats but that might uh, make it really gummy and not quite the texture that you want uh, for doing an overnight oat. Uh, the old fashioned oats work pretty good for, for this. So that was about half a cup in there. And then we're going to take uh, some dates. I'm kind of doing the raisin date and walnut oatmeal. That was my favorite oatmeal growing up, the Quaker raisin date and almond. Wait, raisin date and walnut. Wow, that's hard to say. Um, and I just really, really like that. So we're kind of doing that today, uh, just a different style. All right, so these are whole dates. These are whole medjool dates. And again, I get these from Thrive. I'll show you the box. So this is what I get from Thrive Marketplace. Uh, they're whole, they're not dried, and they are organic. Now, there's a lot of stores where you can actually find dates, medjool dates, in the produce section next to your dried fruits and things, and that's perfectly fine as well. I just found that Thrive, I can get a lot of things from Thrive um, for a very good price uh, instead of trying to get to the grocery store sometimes, especially with the pandemic going on right now, trying to get more stuff delivered instead of going into the store uh, is a better option for a lot of individuals. So I'm just carefully cutting this kind of in half. Because these are whole dates, they actually still have the pit inside. These are very delicious. Um, if you're a candy bar freak like I am, um, get yourself some dates. Um, these will satisfy that sugar craving real quick. And one of the things you can do with these dates uh, um, if you really like a Snickers bar or something like that, is take a whole date, and you see how there's a nice cavity in there now because the pit's gone? Take an almond, uh, especially if you soak one overnight so it's softer. Take an almond, put it inside, you got yourself a Snickers bar right there. Very healthy. 
and it tastes really good. And um, one of these, maybe two if you're really having a sugar craving, will take care of that sugar and nut craving and a uh, lot less calories and junk than a Snickers bar. So there's a plug for those. So I'm just going to take, I have four of these, I'm just going to cut them out. And because these are not dried out, they're not dehydrated, they're very soft and easy to work with. The ones that are dried out in the produce section, um, you might want to soak in some uh, hot water on the stove just until they're nice and soft to work with. And then of course let them cool off so you don't burn yourself. But these guys, these are used a lot for uh, adding sweetness without adding sugar so to speak, uh, actual sugar. And because of the, all the fiber in them, the fiber helps your body actually be able to break down that sugar correctly without causing your uh, glucose levels to spike. All right, so that was four of those. And then I have um, just some regular raisins. I try to buy a lot of my stuff in bulk. So when I buy them in bulk, I put them in jars that I can seal and uh, they stay fresh for a while. So I got my raisins. I also have, again, Thrive Marketplace. <laughs> um, this is organic maple syrup. Um, so I use this. Again, if you can find good quality maple syrup in your area, go ahead and purchase it and uh, support your local farmers. Uh, again, I bought this during the pandemic when you couldn't go to the stores. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, and then I also have some almond milk. Uh, this is just regular unsweetened almond milk. Nothing too fancy about that. And then I have uh, pecans here. I bought this big bag at Sam's Club. It was on sale for nine bucks. Nine bucks for this huge bag. And it's two pounds. So this was a huge deal because pecans generally run about nine dollars a pound. So yeah. So um, look for bulk sales for your nuts to save yourself a ton. So I'm going to be using pecans today. So I'm just going to take some pecans. We're going to get those chopped up. I think I have more containers here than I need. But I always wanted to be prepared and not underprepared. So I'm just going to give these guys a nice chop. Makes it a little bit easier to put in and then to chew when you're on the go. All right, I'll take those. All right, take a few more. Now, thankfully, my cat's not going crazy today, man. Yesterday, doing that video, she was just non-stop craziness. But she has phases like that. She's been like that for over 13 years, so... <laughs> uh, Alright, there we go. That's pretty good. And what I don't use here today, I can just pop this in the freezer, and it'll stay pretty good. You want to keep nuts that are chopped in the freezer. It prevents them from going rancid. All right, so I'll move this out of the way because we don't need that. All right, so we have our oats. Now we're going to put in our items. So I'm going to do a nice coating of the nuts there, like so. And we're going to do the same with the dates. There we go. You don't want to go overboard on the dates because, like I said, they are... A packed punch for sweetness but you want to have the sweetness in there plus that fiber then we're going to take a nice handful of raisins put them in there and then we're going to take some hemp seeds just like we had for our fruit and yogurt parfait 
because we want to make sure we get the omega-3s in there. we got to have our brain health stuff. So we're going to do two nice pinches of the hemp seeds in there. And then we're going to just fill the jar the rest of the way with the almond milk. Like so. Okay, so now that we did all that beautiful layering and whatnot, we're actually going to stir this all up. Because we want to make sure that the oats and everything are well combined with the milk so they all absorb it uniformly. Alright, so there's that. We're just going to take a lid and put it on. Ready to go. And it's spill proof. So you could throw this in your lunch box. You are good to go. Um, so you let that sit overnight uh, in the refrigerator. Let it sit uh, overnight at least eight hours. So uh, the oats and stuff have a chance to absorb. And this turns into a nice thick oatmeal. Um, if it's a little too thick in the morning, you can add some more uh, almond milk. Um, if you find that it's not sweet enough for whatever reason, Get yourself some organic maple syrup, or what I like to use um, is stevia because that's a no-calorie natural sweetener. So there's that beautiful pre-made meal. So I'm going to do one more just because it's so easy to do, and I want to have these meals prepped. That way, if I'm not feeling good, I can just grab something and eat it and not try to cook. With fibromyalgia, it's very, very difficult to cook sometimes. So you're not eating because you don't feel like cooking. And then you're hurting because you're not getting the nutrients that your body needs to survive. So it's screaming at you for not feeding it. So by having this done, uh, you don't have to worry about cooking when you're not feeling good. You just grab and uh, eat. And... Uh, nourish your body. Alright. So I didn't have to worry about freezing any of those nuts. Alright. Alright. Looks like four dates was perfect. Alright. And again, we're just going to top it off with the milk. Very easy recipe. Okay. I'll stir that up. Get that all combined. Put our tops on. Make sure that they don't leak. Because if they tip over in your fridge, that'd be bad. All right, so there we go. So we got our oatmeal. So this is good for three days or three meals worth of food. Now, you'll notice on my jars, get my other ones back out here, that they have writing on them, or stickers. Um, what, uh, what I do is, um, when I'm canning my food, I go, have lots of canned jars. I showed you our squash that I just did. When you go to open your canned items, don't throw away the lid. Um, you can use those lids uh, not to can again. They're not good to can anymore. But when you're doing something like this or when you're storing your dry goods, 
you can reuse these and they'll work just fine to seal to do a dry seal for your dried goods so that's what I do is I save probably a couple dozen of the uh, canned or the lids from when I can just so I have something to uh, seal my jars with I've tried using those plastic reusable uh, lids that you can get for these guys but I find that they don't stay sealed uh, they don't stay tight they loosen a lot and they leak and I just don't like them but uh, using the, the a lid and the band uh, that you would for canning they make an excellent seal as you've seen that these don't leak so this works very very well so that's what I do I reduce reuse and recycle a lot here on the homestead and uh, so yeah so that's two different meals for three different days uh, I hope this gives you an idea of what to do to uh, get some meals made ahead of time some healthy meals made ahead of time that will reduce your workload reduce your stress load and help increase the nutrition that you're able to consume on a daily basis I appreciate you guys watching everybody and I just hope that wherever you are you are wonderfully blessed this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey bye